I see. This guy, this is a video just for you, just for you. Um, you can see what happens when the chain jumps. Massive. <laughs> okay, not just there, but all the way around the ring as well. Now, what's happening is when the chain jumps, that the chain is getting stuck between here, between the mounting plate and these screws, these, these right here, um, don't allow enough room for the chain to get back out. I mean, they, the chain just hits on the edge of it right here. I can grab something to touch with. Right here, it hits on the edge like this, it just catches. So what happens is it is when the motor spins and the chain jumps, these things catch and cause it to jam down here. And then it gets caught in between these two, as you can see, I don't know if you can see way up in there. This one right here. See, there's enough for the chain to actually go in between here and the chain ring, but not enough with these with these ones sticking out. Right here. So the chain just catches on the edge right here. So if you changed Even if you kept the, the stock chain ring, you know, um, if you re if you got one that has the this part recessed in more, reset, you know, so you'd have to use a little bit shorter spacers. These, you know, your red spacers in here, right here. If you had this part that was recessed in a little bit and used some shorter spacers. That would allow to be able to pull the chain back out of, you know, if it jumps, you can pull it back out and put it back on your bike. Um, otherwise, it's jammed behind. It's jammed behind. It's jammed behind these. Um, but that's what's going on with um, the chain ring. A narrow wide would solve the jumping issue. However, it getting jammed. Um, the only way to solve that would be to have, you know, that this space is right here, this, where the flange is, have that part recessed and use some shorter. So, I just don't want, you know, this to happen to anybody else. As you can see, that's, it's pretty It's pretty gnarly in some spots, especially at the top where it uh, first catches. But yeah, you can see if you recessed this section right here and used a little bit shorter, then it wouldn't catch on the back side of back side of them. Let's see this one right here. Of course, it's not going to focus. 